A grown man craving crab legs is gay. I don't care. Where are we meant to go from here? That's the dumbest thing I've ever read and probably ever will read. I just read that somebody said a grown man craving crab legs is gay. And what, I'm just meant to go on with my day like I didn't even see that? I'm going to be thinking about that for years. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. And welcome once again to some more gatekeeping. To be completely honest, this subreddit just makes me realize that I don't want to listen to anybody. <laughs> in the last video, we learned that it's not okay for a man to be blonde. There's never a dull moment when I make these videos. How dudes that drink cider like to be kissed? Bro, I'm a real man because I drink beer. <laughs> I'm not getting into this again. <laughs> Gamers in 2010, the game has crashed five times before I could get to New Vegas and this is the greatest RPG of the decade. Quote on quote gamers in 2020. The textures are popping, please refund. And what is this supposed to be saying? This just reminds me of like old people that are like, oh my generation was so much better than your generation. This person is only saying this because they were a gamer in 2010. Every day I see more grown adult men using emojis. There is no excuse for this. Emojis are for children and women. Do you think your great grandfather would have been caught dead using emojis if the internet existed back then? Have some self-respect for God's sake. Well, are they being serious? <laughs> oh, who who cares? <laughs> Bro, there are actually people out there that are insecure about using emojis. <laughs> what, does using emojis hurt your masculinity, does it? Oh, that's so lame. <laughs> do whatever you want. Who cares? Apex Legends on Twitter. How many kills do you have with your main? Saying that so-and-so character is my main is just a nice way of saying I'm a sweaty nerd who found one thing to be super good good at instead of trying to be competent with all classes. The main ideology promotes toxicity and elitism. Yeah, I still don't really know what their problem is. Why is this an issue? <laughs> I read a comment the other day and it was like, I love how Vincey sometimes doesn't even understand the memes at all. And to be completely honest, that's me like most of the time. When people complain about airline seats. Oh, it's one of those military ones. Like this top comment says, A, that doesn't look any worse than a typical airline seat. Yeah, which is the first thing that I thought. And B, you're being paid to sit in that seat. I'm paying to sit in the airline seat. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> and even if they were worse than airline seats, that doesn't mean that you can't complain about airline seats. I hate the whole attitude of like, oh, I had it worse, so you can't can't complain about it. The I'm afraid of actual beer door. Oh god, is that real? Did the people who actually work at the shop put that there? This has big I go to Starbucks to laugh at people drinking frappuccinos while I drink black coffee energy. Oh yeah, 100%. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're not more tough than somebody because you don't put milk in your coffee. If you're not Italian and you're you're not educated on what mafia actually is. You have no rights to speak over us. Mafia is not a genre to use for your edits or fanfics. It's a real cruel, terrible issue. So if an Italian person tells you it's not okay to do that, you should not speak over them. <laughs> I cook it a meatball. <laughs> Luigi from The Simpsons. It's Mr. Cook la Panza and the Ugly Kid. Hey, Salvatore, guess who's here? 
Mr. Cucunabanza and some real ugly kid. If you buy a sports car with an automatic, you deserve to suffer. Yeah, well, of course this one came up. I see this sort of stuff everywhere, especially in the car community. People are like this all the time. What all of this basically comes down to is like, well, I would prefer it a certain way, so I think you should also do it the same way. Retweet if you agree. If you use the rewind feature that's now standard on many NES and SNES games available on Switch, you did not, by any stretch of the imagination, beat the goddamn game. Don't you play games to have fun? You know, like, isn't that the main idea? A gamer isn't a description of someone who plays games. It's a description of someone who plays a lot or professionally. You're not a gamer just because you play Candy Crush on your phone while on the bus or train on your way from A to B. You're a gamer if your Steam games list has over 100 games. You're a gamer if you have 5,000 hours played on Overwatch, etc, etc. Gamers are a step above casual consumers in terms of dedication to games, lol. But yeah, with all the Rona, there are more gamers in the world at the moment than there are normies. Sorry, I didn't know what to call non-gamers. XD. Yeah, this one's not too bad, but like, why are we making fun of each other? You're only a gamer if your Steam games list has over 100 games, and you're only a gamer if you have 5,000 hours played. Yeah, okay, buddy. Y'all really be watching cartoons in your 30s? I'm not in my 30s, I'm 22, but I definitely will be watching cartoons in my 30s. <laughs> you know why? Because I want to. Ah, oh, it's about that time of year where girls who have never worked construction a day in their life start wearing these and their Carhartt beanies. Wasn't it Carhartt beanies in the other video where someone was like, oh, you can't wear these unless you skateboard? Like, yeah, surely Carhartt did start off as like a workwear brand, but Carhartt is massive in the streetwear community. It's not like you can only wear them if you do construction. As a grown man, Man, why are you ticklish? No way. Like that's surely a joke, right? I don't like the fact that I don't know if it's a joke or not. How ridiculous is that? Where we live in a world where somebody would actually seriously say something like that? I don't know why a grown man would be ticklish. <laughs> oh, really? It really beats me. <laughs> yeah, it's wholesome memes time, guys. Blessings for the new year. May your wife Wi-Fi signal be strong. May your snacks be plentiful. May your coffee never burn your tongue. May dogs smile upon you. May cats always choose your lap unless you're allergic. May your house plants thrive. <laughs> may your naps be always refreshing. But above all else, may you be healthy, happy, and unburdened by frickery. Oh yeah, how nice is that? I couldn't agree more. Me as a kid when I see a flight of stairs. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I climb it on all fours? <laughs> but yeah, every opportunity I've ever had to do this when I was a kid, <laughs> I did it every time. This is what I want for Christmas. You. I love you. Another one from that doodle guy. That's so sweet. And the perfect place to leave today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope it wasn't too frustrating. I'm sorry if it was. <laughs> we might even need an all wholesome memes video soon. I feel like we need it. Once again, today's comment of the day goes to Super Panda BS with another fun animal fact. Squirrels are responsible for thousands of new trees each year because they forget where they hid their nuts. <laughs> that is the cutest and most interesting thing I've read in so so long. So thank you so much for that. I and I'm sure a lot of people here really appreciate that. Thank you all so much for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.